Hello, today I'm going to show you what to do if you find that your animal breeder program is suddenly unregistered or you've lost your registration key and when you open the program in the information pane on this side under registration it says unregistered user. You'll also find that if you try and add more than 100 records uh, the program won't allow you to save it or if you try and edit more than 100 records it'll also block you. Now when the program is registered uh, there's a little file called reg.cav which is located in the same folder as your database. So to have a look in that folder all you need to do is click this text up here which is your database location and it will open a Windows Explorer window and you can see the database file but there's no file called reg.cav so we need to find that file. I'll close this. Now a simple way of doing that is to click the unlock button. When you click the unlock button the program will look in common locations such as your desktop or your downloads folder and if it finds that file reg.cav it will move it to the correct location next to your database and automatically unlock the program. So let's click the unlock button and unfortunately it didn't find it. If it did find it, it would say that the database is now unlocked. Instead it's opened this window asking us to find the key file ourselves. Uh, just a bit of information here, unless you know where your registration key is kept, for example it might be on an external drive or somewhere like that, uh, this is quite a hard way of finding it because you need to go through folders searching um, and it could take quite a bit of time. So I'll show you an easier way. Click cancel and we're going to open File Explorer or Windows Explorer. By hold, You can hold down the Windows key and press E or you can find Windows Explorer in your start menu. And we're going to click on this PC or our whole computer and we're going to type up here reg.cav and allow the program to search for it. Okay, so we're in luck. There's lots of registration keys on my computer. Uh, you'll probably only find maybe one or two. Um, so all that's required now is for us to copy one of these files into our program. Um, so I'm going to pick this one here click on it once and then drag it sorry click on it once and then drag it across and drop it in the program window and you can see a message came up the current database location is now unlocked so I'll just get rid of some messages and you can see that up here there is now a, um, a registration key name and the program's unlocked I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have any problems, contact me at support at kintracks.com.